All the materials provided in this interview are for informational, educational or entertainment purposes only and are not intended to be or serve as a substitute for professional medical or mental health advice, examination, diagnosis or treatment. Welcome to Healing Doorways, a place to explore different subjects to expand our human consciousness. I am your host, Alicia Marcano, and today I have a very special friend, Yadira Isabel Narvaez. Yadira is a mechanical engineer from Venezuela, and she's been living in Australia for about 10 years now. She's passionate about sustainability and about showing people how to change their ways to have a greener future. Today, Yadira is going to give us 19 very easy tips that we can start applying from today to have a more sustainable life. I hope these tips resonate with you. Thanks for listening. Hi, Yadi. Welcome to Healing Doorways. I'm so excited Hi. to have you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much for having me. It's uh, long overdue. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, and I want to explain to the people why I have you here. Um, I don't know if you agree with me, this year 2020 has been uh, so full of surprises, um, but it was like the entire planet gave a big pause to all humanity uh, in the shape of a virus. <laughs> and it, it, it forced us to go on lockdown. And, and that, that happened in March, obviously, but before in January, we, in Australia, we have the bushfire in Victoria. And that was, um, yeah, it was so bad. It, the, Australia was burning for weeks. And then in March, we have the virus and then we all in lockdown. And I, I, I can't help thinking that a planet Earth is giving us so many signs of the, that we have to change. We must change our ways to be more sustainable, to, be, uh, to stop destroying this beautiful planet. I remember in January thinking I was driving and it was um, a lot of smoke. It was the red sky and I, I, and I was breathing that toxic air but it was early days so we didn't really know what to do um and i have to go to the city because a friend of mine was visiting me from spain that's why we drove in that in in, in the smoke and i had my kids and i be, i was thinking like oh my god it's so bad now how's it gonna be for them is is this gonna be yes. how's it gonna be in 10 years this is so bad and the smoke went around the world like i don't know how many times they saw it in chile they saw it again in everywhere in the world and then there was covid and yeah even though covid is being pretty bad for a lot of people i think uh, it gave planet earth a chance to renew a little bit uh <laughs> We saw some footage of uh, Venice, um, uh, the Venice Channel, uh, how the water was even more, much more clear after a month of not having tourists. And the air in wow. Mexico, um, uh, you probably know more about that than me. <laughs> but it's a sign, like we have to change our ways. And I know it's really hard because we've been, we have this culture of, um, buying and disposing, buying and disposing, but we have to change. It is time to change. And that's why I have an expert in sustainability here today. Oh, God, an expert. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how can we start changing? Like we have, we have no idea how to start changing because I think everyone is worried about the subject, but they don't know how to start. Can you give us some tips? Um, in this interview, how, how can we start? How can we make it easy, accessible, and not too expensive either? Because some, sometimes, mm -hmm. sometimes it could be a little bit expensive. Um, so yes, I give you the microphone to you so you can tell us how to be more sustainable <laughs> in 2021. 
Exactly. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much for that uh, introduction. I think it's, uh, it's very important. Yes. And, and definitely COVID and the bushfires, they have actually um, show us that uh, the impacts that we as species have on the planet and that we are also part of a whole and we are really all connected. And um, yeah, that's what makes it more more relevant for all of us and um, to start the new year being trying to be more sustainable and taking steps. I think it's very important for all of us as a collective and individuals to, yeah, to try to do better and uh, recognize that we're all, all really connected. Yes. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, so, hopefully. Yeah, and also if we can talk about the Christmas, because here in Australia, at least, Christmas is crazy and it's so much waste of paper and, and cards and all that stuff. If you can give us some tips of how to make Christmas a little bit more green. Um, yes, and see, and see if we can save a little bit from now, from <laughs> December 2020. <laughs> Yes, 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 absolutely. Uh, Christmas, I think, is a it's a, a time uh, in you know for most people, especially in the first world, uh, that we actually increase our waste a lot. And um, so, well, if you want to start with that, um, yes, I have a couple of tips that are uh, I think are very useful, are uh, in the hands of uh, most people. So one of them is um, definitely uh, ask, try something new this year and ask uh, your friends and your family what they actually want for Christmas, what presents do they want. So in that way, we can avoid, you know, um, items being in landfill or ending up in landfill later on. Mm -hmm. and uh, reducing our waste, right? And um, we can also try to uh, showcase our newly found, during lockdown, uh, crafting, baking abilities, and <laughs> yes, and um, <laughs> give away some edible and handmade uh, gifts. Uh, that's very useful, and they will, they will be very well received for, uh, by anyone, by right? all your loved ones. Yes. Mm. And they will probably last longer too. <laughs> yeah, it is true. And what about by wrapping papers? It's very difficult for uh, recycling facilities to actually manage those, um, those papers. They have a lot of ink and the glossy is, um, they're actually chemicals and, and plastic, uh, you know, that is mm -hmm. in the mix. So it's, they, they don't get recycled. And um, yeah, so one way to avoid it, and we use a lot of uh, wrapping paper and the problem with wrapping paper is that we use it once and dispose of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so another option that we have is um, getting fancy and try this uh, Japanese wrapping technique, which Ooh. is, um, it's called, yes, it's called, Furushiki, and uh, it is, uh, you can use uh, any fabric that you have, like tablecloth or a scarf or um, Old any fabric. Yes, oh. it's really pretty. And uh, yes, you can use it to wrap your gifts, and they can also be part of the gift itself. Um, so. And what about the cards? Because I know in Australia, at least, they're really big in Christmas cards they love it oh. so how can we yeah yeah how can we change that how can we be more sustainable about cards <laughs> yes i think i think one of the things that uh COVID has um taught us is that we can do a lot of things online now we really have the technology and we are really well prepared to be connected in other ways um so we can send e-cards for example or you know uh, just an email or something you know you can always get creative yeah. and uh, especially i think this time actually showed us that we can all um, be creative and make things happen uh, anyway so yeah pick up your phone <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. what else can we do for 2021 javi 
oh, well, uh, there's so many things that we can start doing. And I think uh, one of the uh, most important tips, uh, which I, I mentioned like the first one, is um, to start small and really try not to do everything at the same time because that's, um, that's very easy. It, it's almost a guarantee that uh, our habits won't stick. And um, yeah, so instead you just choose one area of your life, which is um, it's, it's the, the important work is about just slowing down, stopping and actually uh, see where you can change or what areas of your life you're more interested in making some changes in mm -hmm. and, and start there and start building from, from one area and start applying those changes. Oh, that's a good idea. Otherwise, uh, yeah. you're probably uh, going to give up the first week. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is too hard. No. I can't do it. <laughs> that's good. Yes. Yeah, I'm sure that most people uh, will have it something in mind that they, yes. I have, they have been thinking about changing or they have noticed that they um, <clears throat> you could generate certain uh, amount of ways in certain areas of your life and yeah so why not try and reduce those uh, in the next year yeah, just put it in, in your list of uh yeah in your <laughs> list of uh new year's resolutions yes please it's a must <laughs> well i think i think that a good place to start is uh by refusing single use items mm -hmm. and replacing them with uh reusable alternatives so for example, um, a very easy win is refusing straws uh, when you're out and about. Uh, straws are actually very lightweight and they get blown off uh, by the wind and they end up in our waterways where they affect uh, marine life and seabirds. And um, yeah, the, more often than not, they, uh, Choke, choke to death, to death. Yeah. so oh, it's not yeah. good yes yeah. Oh, um terrible. yeah but the good news is that there are, there are many alternatives now so there are bamboo straws there are metal straws um i have a metal metal straw yeah ah. <laughs> and it has like a little um ah. a little brush that you can clean it with um yeah it's good but uh, one of the things, uh, another tip mm -hmm. in regards to this is when you're going to thinking of uh, changing um, an item, really think about, do I really need it? Because if you are anything like me, in most cases, with straws at least, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> so another one is to bring your own reusable carry bags and produce bags to supermarkets and other stores. Um, lightweight plastic bags are being banned in most places, in Australia also. Mm -hmm. And by bringing your own reusable bag, you are going to save the money and you're going to help uh, keep, keep the, the plastic, plastic bags, bags away from our waterways and our landfills too. Yes, yes. Yeah, oh, that's a big one. There was a time that I actually cleared all my plastic bags and I was just shopping with that. But then COVID came and I have to do shopping online. And now I have so oh, many bags right. again. But I'm having there. I'm, I'm trying to think what to do with them. Wow. Yeah. Well, um, the light, light ones you can uh, recycle in... Um, through a, a company called Red Cycle. They have these uh, beans in the supermarkets. They are, um, I think they're red. Um, yes, and they are actually recycled in Victoria and they make things like uh, uh, benches for parks and schools. And uh, yeah, it's actually quite good. And what else can we do? I'm sure there's more we can do. <laughs> yeah, so there's plenty. There's plenty. And the good thing is that you just uh, need to choose something and start from there. That's, um, 
just people don't get overwhelmed. Yes. <laughs> is to bring your own reusable coffee cup instead of buying takeaway cups. Um, during COVID, there was, you know, um, there has been a lot of um, conversations and about taking your coffee cup or not, and there are places that accept it and now places that uh, don't uh, because of health reasons. Mm. But um, I think it is important. And um, yeah, so takeaway coffee cups are actually not recyclable either. Mm. And that's, um, that's one of the things that I, I, I discovered very early um, in my in my journey <laughs> uh yes and uh, yes a friend pointed out to me um that they are not recyclable and that they uh would contaminate other recycling too wow so, so yeah so many people yes. think it's recyclable recyclable and so it is true that's yeah that's what surprised me um that uh it's it wasn't as mainstream knowledge as mm. it should, probably. Yes. There are many options. I have one here. Uh, this one is glass. And um, yeah, but there are, yeah, there are plastic ones, there are collaps collapsible ones. There are plenty of options. Uh, so this, this bamboo ones, you can just choose the one that works better for you. Yeah. I and mean, um, you forget, you can just have the coffee and enjoy it in the oh. bath. That's my favorite alternative. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Sit down, I mean, relax, and have a coffee. Okay. Yeah. Another little change that you can make is refusing uh, cutlery, plastic cutlery, mm. that you can get in most cases, like, you know, you're in the office, you go downstairs, you get your lunch takeaway, mm. and you have um, disposable mm. cutlery with it, mm. right? So what you can do always is like to have um, a set of cutlery with you in in your uh, or in your desk drawer or something like that. Um, I in particular love this one. This one is a fork, and um, oh. it is <laughs> yes, I love it's it. A fork it's and just a spoon. One. It's everything. It's a knife too. And it's a knife too. Um, yes, yes. So, so it's really good because uh, it's just one piece. So it's very easy to carry around with you. But there's so many options. There are other, uh, there's bamboo travel sets. There's plenty of options. Just Google it and um, yeah, you'll be surprised. And you don't really, if, if you don't need it, you can always refuse it. Yeah, that's it. Um, another easy win. Um, is to carry with you a reusable water bottle with you like all the time. <laughs> yes. Um, yes, yes, you will uh, definitely save money <clears throat> by not buying bottled water mm -hmm. and will save also the water bottle to be to end, to end up, up in, in our, our um, in our oceans, in our waterways, in landfill and affect all our life. Yeah, and so, um, well, I think Australians are pretty conscious about the, the bottled water. Everybody has a bottle uh, with them. And you know what, yes. the, the metal ones, I know they're a bit heavy, but they actually keep your water cold the, for the whole day, <laughs> even in the middle yeah. of 40 degree summer. It does keep your water cold. <laughs> that's the one I well, use. That's so. that, yeah, that's, that's very important too, that, you know, it has to be comfortable too for yes. you. Yeah, they yes. could be a bit heavy, but they are. I actually sometimes fill them up with soup if I don't have time to eat and oh. I have to go shopping or whatever. I put a soup in it and it's, it's warm the whole time and I just drink it in the car. <laughs> there you Once go. Again, it's better the option to, drink, to, eat, to eat the soup in your house, in the comfort of your house, but you have to run. <laughs> That's another option. <laughs> so, yeah. So, another one is to um, refuse receipts at the check counters. Like, they are, um, yeah, they normally are automatically printed. And we just tend to grab them and keep going. So, if we refuse them at the time, 
we're going to save some time later on decluttering and rearranging our wallets. And um, yeah, yes, yes, it's, it's, it's unnecessary. And it also sends a message to um, the people at the stores that you are visiting, you know, like um, that there has to be another option that's better for all of us. <laughs> another tip is to cancel your uh, magazine and newspaper subscriptions mm -hmm. and also get um, subscribed to paper-free bills, which is mm -hmm. uh, something that utility companies will likely offer mm -hmm. and they can just send you your bills uh, to your email, digital email, uh, bills. And that way you don't have to accumulate all this paper that you probably gonna get recycled later but there's no need for it so easy to do friends so you can implement that in 2021 on your christmas break just organize your bills to be emailed yes to you. <laughs> very easy to do yeah and what else can we do jali maybe a couple of more tips before we wrap up well um another thing that is a very easy win and you know while you are taking in during your Christmas break to do your <clears throat> paper free bills. You can also uh, cancel your yellow pages, which is mm -hmm. something that I know that a lot of people don't get the yellow pages anymore delivered to <clears throat> their home. But if you do, mm -hmm. uh, just cancel them. Uh, all the information that you're gonna need, it's actually online. You, you really don't need the yellow pages and you probably don't use them much anymore. Um, so if you, if you do have them, just cancel them and you're going to be saving a lot of trees too. Yes, please cancel the yellow pages. Imagine all those trees. And Javi, we're nearly running out of time. Is there any, any other tip that we can use? And, and obviously, later on, you will give us your contact details to find you and, and to get some more ideas and some more inspirations on how to be more sustainable in 2021. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Uh, well, another um, easy win is uh, to put on your mailbox, to put a sign a uh, no junk mail sign um, that advertising material rarely gets uh, used mm -hmm. and it only adds to our waste. So if we install this um, sign on your mailbox, we are helping uh, the environment, we are uh, saving trees, and we are also sending a message to companies to consider other alternatives for promoting their services too. That's yeah. It. It so time. don't, yeah, <laughs> don't underestimate your uh, power as a consumer to change behaviors. Yeah, so, yes. that's right. Oh, Javi, we could go on for ages and I'm sure I we have know. more and more. I just want to share one that I do at home and I have become really good at it is um, the, the weekly menu. <laughs> the weekly menu has been my lifesaver and also saved me so much money too. Mm. Is, um, money and time. So I don't get home. Hi. Oh, what am I going to cook today? Because uh, I already know. Actually, this year, um, this month, I started to do the monthly menu. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'm trying that one because it takes me so much time to think, oh, what am I going to cook? And so I have a list of, you know, today we're going to eat this type of fish, uh, veggies, blah, 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 blah. And I, and I can, and, and so every week I go and check, all right, what's what the ingredients I have, I need and what, what do I have already? And I just buy what I need. And that, my friends, is something... <laughs> I highly recommend. I actually have a wall in my kitchen that I paint with uh, um, a blackboard paint <laughs> and I put my weekly menu there. And it's, it's that's awesome. It saves you so much money and we hardly have any, any leftovers. And when we do, I just take them for that's lunch great. the next day. No big deal, but it's something we can start doing. 
Um, and other one is the compost. I, can you touch a little bit about the compost uh, being oh, well. like that before I go? That's, that's something yes. people are very interested to know. Yes, yes, totally. Um, I think, well, first, I think that that, um, that idea of doing the uh, meal plan for the whole month or for the week, or even just a few days, it's really, it's really useful, um, especially like we all complain about being time poor. So that is a, that is a time saver. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, yeah, and that would also help reduce the food waste which is a really massive problem. It's not just here, it's global, globally. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, and it's, it's, uh, it's a very easy win. The problem with uh, food waste and food scraps is that actually um, they, they gonna decompose in the landfills, but they are gonna generate me methane, which is a very powerful um, greenhouse gas. So, yeah, it's like 20 times more powerful than CO2. Uh, so it is very important. Yeah, and it is also a great opportunity to reduce our carbon footprint. Mm. And, um, yeah, about compost, um, <clears throat> that is um, a way to um, recover that food waste and uh, turn it into soil that can be used uh, again, to grow uh, new food and, yeah, to make the soil more um, healthy. Mm -hmm. And so we can have different options uh, at home. You have, like, compost beans that you can are really good for outdoor spaces. Mm -hmm. And um, you can uh, put in virtually anything. <laughs> and they're going to get, yeah, it's they're really good when you have the space yes yes there's also warm, there's also warm farms uh, which are a really good option if uh, you have more limited space they're also more limited in the type of food that you can put in so you have to avoid um, citrus peels uh, you can put meat and dairy in it so, but they are really good and the liquid that the worms produce are a great fertilizer for all the other things that you can grow in your garden. And um, there's also the bokashi bean, which is um, it's very interesting. And the advantage with it is that it's very small, it's very compact. You can keep it in the kitchen mm -hmm. and, um, <clears throat> and you can put meat and dairy in it. Wow. Um, yes. Yes. Is that the they, you, they have at home? you have a little compost. I one. have a warm farm. Ah, okay. Yes. Yes. But I, um, I'm vegetarian, so I don't, uh, produce a, any meat. I don't have meat leftovers. So I'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> um, yes. With, the, with having the warm farm, I mean, and, uh, yeah. And I actually like the worms. It's, they're really and you are living, <laughs> you're living in an apartment in the city. So, um, yes, yes, so you could even have that, that warm farm in, living in an apartment in the city. So you don't need to, yes. the myth of that you need a big house with a big backyard is, um, it's, it's not true. It's just a myth. So you can do it yes. in, living in the city in, a, in a, an apartment. So. Uh, Jadi, this it's been fantastic, all these tips. So, uh, friends, I hope this one of them resonates with you and you can start doing it from Christmas <laughs> and at least um, think about the impact you are um, generating by changing uh, something a little. Even if, even if it feels like it's something little, in a year's time is going to be a massive change for the planet and for the future generation. Yes. <laughs> so Jadi, yes. what is the best way to find you? How can we get more information about you? <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, well, thank you very much for this. I really hope that, that um, those little uh, tips inspire people thank to, you. yeah, to make some changes and think about uh, their own lifestyles. A little bit more and more consciously and uh, yeah so 
about me that you can find me on my Facebook group, Sustainable Steps Melbourne, or my Instagram page with the same name, Sustainable Steps Melbourne. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna have, um, we're producing a workshop that is in the making and you can find out more information uh, through my uh, social media too. And uh, yeah, so the idea is to empower people to have those changes, to make those changes and make them stick. Oh, what a fantastic initiative, Javi. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And <laughs> thank, thank you very so much, much for having me. If you like this video, there's three things you can do for us. You can give us a like, you can share it with someone that might find this information helpful. And you can also hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Thanks for your time.